Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. What's up, everybody? In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Deloitte again and the other big four county firms, but primarily Deloitte because there's a couple of news stories that I wanted to talk about. First up is Deloitte has put their restructuring business in the UK up for sale. And this comes after the big four are being forced to split up their audit and consulting businesses. The big four have said that it is becoming too hard to manage their conflicts of interest. And this new regulation of splitting up their audit and consulting businesses came about after the big four accounting firms had too many accounting scandals in the UK. And they have to isolate their audit businesses by 2024, according to the new regulations by the FRC in the UK. KPMG already sold their pension advisory business in March 2020 for about 200 million pounds and now Deloitte's trying to sell their restructuring business and Deloitte is also hoping to get hundreds of millions of dollars for their restructuring business restructuring is a business where the big four help companies that are struggling go through bankruptcy or restructure their operations or try to find a sale and if you looked in the news Deloitte has been helping in Australia with Virgin Australia and there's some issues going around there um, but what they tried to do there is find uh, somebody to sell to. And oftentimes, the restructuring means closing offices and laying people off. So this business is a pretty good business right now. And Deloitte knows this, and they're hoping to get a good price while it is at its peak price. Now, Deloitte's UK restructuring business has about 350 employees and 20 partners. And people think that this restructuring sale is about avoiding conflicts of interest, which I don't completely disagree with, but I disagree with a little bit. Um, I disagree with it because I don't think there's going to be that many conflicts of interest for Deloitte with their restructuring business because the big four accounting firms aren't going to have that many audit clients that are companies that are restructuring because the big four accounting firms are very expensive auditors, so I doubt that companies going through restructuring would have the big four auditors, or especially Deloitte, because Deloitte does the least auditing of all the big four accounting firms. I think this is more of getting the best price for this business right now, because this type of business restructuring is going to be doing well right now. It's going to be doing the best it's ever going to do in this year and maybe next year, but they know they're going to get the biggest price right now. I don't think there's that many conflicts of interest with the restructuring business. I just think they're trying to get the most money in a difficult time right now. And with that, let's move on to the next story. There's another story about Australia. We've been talking about Australia so much, but it's okay that we talk about Australia because we can apply what's happening in Australia to the rest of the world. And we can apply what we get from Australia to the rest of the world because Australia does a really good job of covering the big four accounting firms. Other countries around the world don't give the big four accounting firms as much news as Australia does. So we can learn a lot from there, from the news that, that we get out of Australia. But this this news story in Australia is very unique. And it's the Australia Financial Review recently recovered a story about how there are only three auditing firms left in Australia. And they mean like the big three uh, auditing firms. Obviously, there's many more auditing firms in Australia. And they say those three big auditing firms are KPMG, ENY, and PwC. And this is because PwC had 40.5% market share on audit fees, ENY had 27%, and KPMG had 25%. And this leaves about 6.5% for Deloitte. And the article goes on to discuss how the big three failed to perform high-quality audits. But I mean, would you perform a high quality audit if you didn't have any competition? That's the issue here. Everybody's everybody's sitting back in their chairs, waiting for the big four accounting firms to get better at audits and waiting for the regulators to step in. But 
that's just not going to happen. There, you're having less and less competition. Obviously, in Australia, that's definitely happening because Deloitte's even stepping back, and I'll speak about the reason for that. But also the regulators, the, the best accountants don't go into the government. They are in the big four accounting firms and then industry after that. This government isn't even number two, it's number three. And then the governments, the, the, whenever they do sanctions or fees or um, penalties, they're just not big enough to make a difference to the big four accounting firms. But it has a big implication, as we saw in the UK. The UK is forcing them to split up their consulting and auditing business, which means the big four have to reimagine how they're going to do business in the UK. So there are implications. It's just employees in the big four don't necessarily care about it, and regulators don't necessarily approach it the right way. And the Australia Financial Review in this article made it seem like it was a mistake or that Deloitte is malfunctioning and they're falling to the back of the group. That they, they tried to make the story s- seem like a puzzle that is getting pieced together by only them. But they don't understand that this is a strategic move by Deloitte. And that Deloitte is losing ground in the audit game on purpose. It's no mistake. Deloitte doesn't care about audits around the world, in case you didn't know that. They are more interested in consulting. And to my belief and my perception, this makes them very vulnerable during downtimes in the economy like right now. And this year, I don't know if I'll see it in Deloitte's results because there's going to be a lot of number manipulation going on this year. People are going to mess with numbers. And if you work in the big four accounting firms like I have for many years, you understand this. But if you don't, then you won't know what they're doing. So they're going to be telling their partners and managers to getting key revenue numbers. And there's enough revenue and enough outstanding bills out there for people to fudge the numbers because revenue numbers are revenue numbers. They're not collection numbers. They're not cash collected. So partners and managers will be jamming up the revenue system this year and getting Deloitte to the numbers that they need to be at. But what what I was saying is that being consulting focused makes you extremely powerful and look really good during when the economy's during times when the economy is doing really well. But the times where the economy is doing bad, it makes you very vulnerable. And I think PwC is going to be more robust in Australia than Deloitte is in the future. And what this new site, what Australia Financial Review forgot to do is look into revenues of the big four accounting firms in Australia. Because if we look at those, PwC makes the most revenue in Australia, which we would expect, right? If they have 40% of the audit fees, they make about $2.6 billion. But Deloitte is number two with $2.5 billion. How can they do that? How can they possibly do that with only 6% of the audit fees? Oh, no. Well, they do that because of consulting, like I said before. So what Australia Financial Review forgot to put in here, which we're bringing to you in this podcast, is that Deloitte avoids those conflicts of interest by only focusing on consulting. They don't have to worry about conflicts of interest with audit, and they can just go 100% into focusing on winning consulting work. And there's plenty of regulatory consulting work to do outside of audits. There's so many regulations by governments all around the world. And the craziness we've seen in Australia, Australia's government has no problem reaching out and putting all kinds of government regulations on there. And that's the type of work that Deloitte's going after because they can avoid conflicts of interest. They can avoid regulation by helping other companies meet their regulations. So those are the news stories we covered today. To get these news stories and the insights that we bring to you, make sure to subscribe to this podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes description so we can bring you more content. Thanks for listening.